Christine, if you're there. Christine, if you can please unmute your mic, you have five minutes to speak. Hi. Oh, great. Uh, first of all, I'd like to reiterate that I want to be on that committee, and my son was killed at one pulse. Do you want you guys understand that? Do you hear me? We do hear you. It's, it's your time to speak. Okay, good. So I should have been vetted. I'm an honorable person, and I legitimately would have represented not only my son honorably, but all the 49 victims honorably. Now, it's come to my attention that you have a, at least two members of your committee who are not honorable. Now, we have a thing in the law that's called the fruit of the poisonous tree. Now, if any of the fruit of a tree is poison, the entire tree is poisonous. Now, you have a couple of poisonous fruit in your committee. This is a public committee. Ms. Lennon, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to step in. I'm going to step in for a moment because, as I said at the beginning of the meeting, the discussion no, agreements no, uh, no. to You're the committee not and to the in, public Dr. comment. Shuler. And you so are not going to step in because continue, one of the before one you of continue, committee members before you continue Dr. with Shuler, your one comments, of these committee members was not... making a point today about what okay. her opinion Lennon, was. I'm going, be, I'm going to be very explicit here and say that Look, it is she was making not... a point today of what her opinion was. Ms. Lennon, and now, it is possible to make your proof. point without labeling anybody poison. So I'd ask you to Look, withhold any kind of personal when... attacks. <laughs> Look, she is on the committee. You guys did not vet her. And there was another member of your committee who you did not properly vet. Now, she made opinions about what she believed this, this memorial should be. Now, when she worked with Barbara Palma, hand in hand, and the One Pulse Foundation, she was collecting personal property of the 49 victims. And they were making all the plans, and I have the proof that they were making all the plans to go across the country with these personal property of the 49 victims at a traveling exhibit for profit. Now that's what she was going to do. And now she's on a committee to honor my son? No. You have the fruit of the poisonous tree. You have another committee member who also worked with Barbara Palma and one Pulse, who has a criminal history, a substantial criminal history of fraudulent crimes. Now, if someone has a propensity for fraud and worked with a criminal nonprofit, fraudulent nonprofit, one Pulse, and now they are proposing things in your committee having to do with a public memorial for my son, again, no thanks. Now you had someone like me who you could have had on that committee who was honorable, who was law abiding, who has a entire life history of law abiding, honorable behavior with raising my son. My son had a history, 32 year history, of law abiding behavior, we could have been an asset to the memorial, to a public memorial, but instead you chose to not vet committee members. Now you have, this is what you have. So you have people who are making opinions, who are going to tell you that they're good, they want to have you know, art, whatever, they want to have first responders added to the wall and whatever they want. They want all this additional memorial ideas, whatever they want done with the building, and they don't have a history of being honorable. They need to be off that committee. In fact, you need to wipe the committee clean and start fresh and start with people who we can trust, who have 
honorable motives, who have never exploited their kids, who have never teamed up with uh, the dissolved, That's fraudulent time, Christine. Thank you for your comments. Appreciate it. Thank you.